Okay, so today I have a very long awaited video. I haven't filmed in a really long time. I did film a get ready with me about a week ago, but for some reason my phone just didn't really want to upload it. So yeah, I couldn't upload that. And I've just been really busy with going back to uni and just general life stuff. So I haven't had time to film a video, but I went charity shopping yesterday. And also a few days ago I picked up a few bits so it's kind of like a collective haul and I've also got a few bits from a vintage shop on Park Street in Bristol because they have a £1 section. Normally I don't really tend to spend a lot in vintage shops at all really because they're just so overpriced um, but a £1 section like it's actually really good you can't resist that so I will show you what I got. Okay, so the first thing, which isn't the most exciting, but it's still pretty good, is a pair of gym leggings that, because I've recently joined the gym, so I'm, I want to get cheap ones, basically. Um, they're just green, stretchy gym leggings, but they're actually from American Apparel, which is so good. And I got these for £1.50, so for American Apparel leggings, that is sick. Then I got these earrings, they were a pound, uh, I've just got another one, yeah so these were a quid and I've been getting into like dangly earrings recently because obviously I love my hoops um, but I think dangly ones are just so like boho and I love them so they were a quid. Then a really sick item I got yesterday is this knitted dress which I actually put on my Instagram story so yeah check that out uh, so yeah it's like a bright red and blue knit originally from Topshop and I got this for four quid and it's so long it's so so long and it has fringing at the end too and again this is just really boho and I can imagine it being so nice in the summer I love it another thing that I got the other day are these trousers they're grey and white pinstriped uh, with an elastic band at the back they were £2.99 and they just go down like that um, but they're actually from a brand called Uniqlo, which I've never heard of before. But um, a lot of my friends say that they're like a really good brand in London. Um, so for £3 you can't really go wrong. And they're just a staple item. The next five things are t-shirts that I got from the same charity shop. So I got five t-shirts from the same charity shop, it was Scope. And they were all one pound each. So the first thing is this really sick Mexico vintage t-shirt. But look how sick that is. And for a pound, you can't go wrong. The next one is this bright pink um, t-shirt that says Duffer on it. Again, it's massive massively oversized but I thought maybe I'd crop this or just tie it up as I normally do um, but I thought it was a bit different and for a pound like uh, it was originally £3.25 and I wouldn't have paid that but for a pound like I may as well and like at uni the washing is so expensive so like I kind of need loads and loads of t-shirts so I don't have to constantly do a wash Another t-shirt is similar to the first one that I showed, it's a Denmark, it's probably Denmark, don't really know mate, but um, another like graphic bright tee, again this was a pound, which is sick, oh, sorry I just got a notification, uh, yeah so for a pound, pretty sick, and again it's got a really thick neck and a really sick vintage tag actually. Another t-shirt is this just 
um, orange and green stripy tea from the men's section. Again, it was a pound, and I thought it was just really cute. Really, really cute. The last t shirt that I got yesterday is from Topshop again, and it's just this it's not like vintage or anything, it's probably like last season, but just like a 70s style Topshop t shirt. Again, this was a pound um, with like ringer sleeves. I thought it was really nice. I picked up um, a vintage bag as well because smaller bags like this are really good for nights out. So it's just this like crochet beaded little bag type thing um, with a little strap. And it was £1.99. It's very, very 90s. Um, but yeah, so they're good for nights out and to be fair, my one that I use at the moment is my mum's from like the 80s or 90s and it's in good condition but the inside is just getting a bit tired so I thought I'd pick this up and it's originally from Wallace so shout out to my friend Wallace, lol um, but yeah, not bad for £1.99 um, The last thing I got from the charity shops are another pair of earrings and it's another dangly pair. Again, these were a pound. And it's just these, like, again, boho earrings. I thought they were really pretty. The next three things are actually from the vintage shop on Park Street in Bristol. And they were all one pound. So the first thing is this vintage blue sweatshirt. It's in really good condition. I didn't know whether I'd keep this or sell it. It's actually really nice. So I might, um, what I might do is wear it for a bit and then just sell it on, which is is what I do with a lot of my clothes. So yeah, not really much else to say, but it's just really nice. Really nice colour. Next thing I got, I've already worn. Um, it's just a vintage navy blue, like baseball t-shirt, and I really like the neck on this one. It honestly is like thick as hell, thick with two C's. Like I love it, and I tie this one up because the bottom of it is actually a bit weird. It's like a bit frayed and like dipped. So I don't really like that. But yeah, it fits really nice and it looks like the ones from like Amer not American Apparel. Well to be fair, American Apparel, but also Urban Outfitters. The last thing that I have got to show you is actually no, to be fair, I do have other bits, but they're just like not from charity shops or um vintage shops. One's from Depop, and then I've also got something to show you from Asta because I think it's so cute. So the last thing is this silk lilac shirt not really my style but I did really like it um, I might make it work or again I, I did get it with the intention to sell but I just thought it for one pound it's just so nice um, and it has a really nice embroidered rose on the pocket so it's in really good condition so yeah but I don't know I do like so maybe I might rock it once or twice and then sell it, who knows? Who knows? Um, last thing, like I feel like thrifty kind of thing, is this backpack. I never really was one for backpacks because I don't know, I didn't think they were like that fashionable. I mean obviously they're more practical than fashionable. Um, but at uni they honestly are a lifesaver. I've just got that one I've just got it for like a little I've just got this one now. I don't know why I can't speak. I've had it for like two days and already it's literally changed my life. Um, it's this like vintage 80s backpack. I love the colour block. Got it from Depop for £10 including postage. Um, and it's honestly so sick. It just fits everything in it. I could take my laptop if I want to to uni now because it's not 
that's heavy like on my shoulder um so that's it that's the end of my haul but i have got a bowl from asda to show you Me and my friend Gail went charity shopping yesterday and after that we went to Asda just to get a few bits and we went to like the kitchen section and we saw this amazing like unicorn pasta bowl and I honestly think it is so cute. It was four pounds um, and they have a cereal bowl, a plate, like loads of mugs and stuff. But we just got this. I think it's so nice. And that's the end of my haul, to be fair. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in my next video. I don't know when that will be. But if anybody... I did say this in the video that, that I filmed that I couldn't upload. If anybody has any, like, requests or videos that you might want me to film, um, just let me know. Like, in the future, I might be interested in doing, like, lookbooky videos. But it's just getting around to filming that, whether that be in here or... Um, getting somebody else to film them outside kind of thing but it's definitely something that i would be interested in so just let me know um i'll see you in my next one bye